we are at the end of day one of the kitchen renovation demolition day um we are also at the end of a wicked storm i mean the guys were just about to take off and it was way too wet for them to go anywhere so they hung out for a bit and now they're gone it's about uh just coming up to four o'clock or coming up to five o'clock i'm completely lost on time here i thought i thought it was like 3 30 but it looks like it's 4 30 almost 4 45 so um very, very noisy day, obviously. Um, as I expected, the floor did not come willingly. Like the, the back part, which is like the part that was like the addition, came up no problem and they were just like moving along. And then this part here, which is original of the house, was just like upstairs in my office. They just struggled. They ended up going out and getting more tools. And then it all came up. Um, I was very, very impressed. It was, they just worked really hard because they didn't think they were going to get done. And then um, they were able to get it done just because they just they just didn't give up. They just continued to work at it. Um, so they didn't finish cleaning up today because they ran out of bags and they were like they were like apologizing. I'm like you know like I'm not here to mind for manage or anything. It's just do your job. We said two two and a half to three weeks. My kitchen will be done and it'll be done well. That's all that matters to me. I'm just like I just. Yeah, I, I don't need to have like I don't need I don't need to have people worried over like the little details. I want them to be worried about the big details. So I can't really go in there, obviously. Um, the only decision I had to make today was where are they going to put the um, the threshold? And I asked them to put the threshold. I wanted the th threshold to be in here, like just along like this line right there. So they're going to come tomorrow with a machine. They're going to be able to cut it really cleanly. And then this way, I'll have the concrete all the way to there. But then, um, and then the wood will go in underneath and then like the, the junction will basically be underneath the door itself. So uh, whenever I get these floors redone, so that'll look really good. Um, so when I said that, he was like, yeah, like, so that's exactly what we thought, but we have to ask. Um, the only surprise for them, which was not a surprise to me, and I mentioned it a few times, so I, the word didn't get passed around, was um, right there. The sink counter basically is just held together with the rebar at this point. Uh, so they said, yeah, they said they actually, um, it actually is w way worse than I even realized. They said, yeah, this, you, it was helped by the rebar. Um, it probably would have caved in in a few months. Like it was, it was going to be that bad. And they were showing me the cracks on the concrete. And I thought, first, my first thought was, and not the concrete, the cracks on the tiles. My first thought was when I had all the, the wood all the way around and I, I was wondering, was that like supporting it? And they looked at me like, you know, the answer to that, that, that was not the problem. It's just, it was done. So, and they were able to keep, uh, to salvage the old um, sink and my uh, maintenance guy wants it. My, my once a month gardener guy, he wants it for his, uh, his yard. And I think we're gonna, I'm gonna end up doing a brand new, like a complete kit with a new faucet because it's on sale. So they're gonna go and investigate that tomorrow because they need the, the measurements. So they got rid of the, um, let me go zoom back out. They got rid of all of the backsplash. Um, so that's all gonna get cleaned up. And they said they are going to be burying, maybe not the whole length of the wire, but apparently they're going to, they're going to have to bury some of it because they have to um, put the concrete over top. So I'm happy about that. Anything that they do, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> Anything makes it look more finished. They covered the ceiling fans with, with the garbage bags, the hood range. They ended up not putting anything. Oops, sorry, honey. Um, they ended up not putting any plastic here, which I thought they were going to have to do because the, this door is tied enough to the ground and this shut, shut up really well. And there's basically no dust in uh, on this side. I was very, very surprised and very happy about that. Um, so, uh, very good day of, down, of work down today. They started around 9:30 and finished around 3:30, and they didn't. They only stop um, long enough. Like one guy didn't stop. Like he literally, once they finished for the day and they were waiting for the rain, he sat down in the corner there against those sharp tiles and he fell right asleep that's how <laughs> hard he worked and the other guy just stopped long enough to run out and get tools and get food and get bags so um yeah i am uh, very very impressed with the with the workmanship today it's just like the um, you know the effort put in um so the starting tomorrow 9 30 there's going to be apparently going to be more people tomorrow than there were today i don't know what's going on tomorrow um of course i just had a job come in so now tomorrow today i could have just been working quietly and i didn't really know what to do with myself and tomorrow now I have to have more people in the house, but um, hopefully I won't have a lot of decisions and they can just um, do their thing and I'll do my thing and she'll do her thing, which is just sleep all day. Um, so I, my first day without a kitchen for breakfast, I cooked because I still had my stove was still hooked up, 
because the stove now is here, the pantry is here, the, the fridge is here, the broom cupboard is all the way over there, and then everything else is in here. Um, but I was able to make coffee over there. I made a coffee there at lunch also, no problem. Uh, lunch I ordered in, but I ordered in a salad. So for me, I don't count that as ordering in because it's healthy. Um, and then for dinner, I actually did a Walmart order and I'm going to do a cold plate tonight, you know, pickles and cheese and olives and a fresh loaf of bread and uh, crudite and all that. And I got a nice bottle of white wine also that's chilling right now. So that'll be a nice dinner. And then, um, and then in the next couple of days, I'll decide what I'm doing. Um, they confirm that, yeah, this is like a three week timeline, but there's going to be a probably a good week that everything's going to be locked up while everything cures. So it's not like I have like a full three weeks of guys in the house, which I find, I just find it really hard to just stick to a routine when I've got people in the house and you're trying to eat. And then they're like, what are you eating? And it's just like, I don't know. There's just very, very, very curious people here. I just, I don't know. I, I just find it. It's not annoying. It's just, it's just, you know, part of it. And I don't want to be locked up in my office trying to eat. I try to eat, you know, I'd rather be eating here at the dining room table. So anyway, so I'm just kind of like looking at the, the water that came in. I mean, I just can't get over how high. This is just rainwater that just came in. And I've got a pool, you know, behind my, i got a moat around my pool. And my whole passage was like the whole corridor there. Like it was not draining fast enough. So I've really got, I'm going to have to, that's, you know, just a good reminder not to do anything outside until I deal with the drainage. So I think I'm going to be able to go in here now or work a little bit. I haven't decided. Uh, I'm just frustrated with all, like, it just looks so dirty, but it's not. It's just, I don't know what's going on this year. I ran the filter this morning. I vacuumed. It's just, I don't know. I just can't wait, wait on with it, but I know it's clean, so I'm going to go in. And um, I caught the door several times open today, and I'm just not getting that I have to really watch her. So definitely not leaving them home alone with her until that's kind of like drilled in their brains that they got to watch her. Because if they've got the door open, but I'm sitting in the back and I don't know the door's open and she's lying with me, it's not a big deal. But then if she were to get up, say, oh, I'm going to go pee. And then, oh, the door's open. I, I would never know she was gone until, like, until, you know, uh, so I really, really, really got to watch that. Um, anyway, so very happy. And I don't feel like my house doesn't feel like super chaotic. I would consider this a very good first day. And um, really looking forward to seeing what happens tomorrow because they're going to clean up. And then I don't know what the next step is. I don't know. I'm thinking it's the concrete because they mentioned they need, the, they need the sink to be able to start working on the counter because they have to make the hole and uh, and everything. And they're leaving. They've been taking that wood thing in and out and they say because they really want to make sure that it's like drilled into them what the, what the measurement is. And I said, you know, as long as it's got still got the clean edge, it's not a big deal because it's all hidden with the, with the baskets once, uh, once the baskets arrive. So it shouldn't be a big deal. So. Right. And then I also don't know What's gonna happen with the purple? I love the purple in the back there, but then it didn't do well on the on the ground, and it was just like very very scuffed up. So I'm thinking, um, once this is all done, um, if um, I don't know if they're gonna do a layer of concrete over that also, which I don't think it would be in the scope. I have some tile left from up the bathroom upstairs. I might just do like the front part of it in tile, just make it look more finished. I'll see what I'm doing with that, or if I'm gonna repaint. Because uh, I love having the purple in the back like that. And then I'm thinking it, and then it's going to have the yellow wall and everything. I, I like it. A lot of people don't like it, but um, luckily it's my house and I'm the one who pays the mortgage. So I could, I'm the only one who has a say. <laughs> All right, let's go and get a little bit more work done. And then a nice glass of wine and unwind. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy. It's not like, it doesn't feel like super, super chaotic. <laughs> I didn't stove in the living room because we were kind of struggling with where to put things and this was as heavy as I expected and they were like yeah we're not going to go <laughs> into the earth with that um, but the fridge fits really nice in here and that's just perfect the only thing that I'm missing I didn't realize just how much is having a surface right by the fridge to be able to drop a glass of water while I'm filling up from the pitcher or grabbing the milk so I think I am going to be hunting down I'm going to go, go through the house and see if I've got I'm thinking maybe the little pink table that I have in the, in the guest bathroom would just fit like just right there and just give me that little surface because I'm going to go three weeks not having that. I'm going to go crazy. That's it.